The next day, we got out on the boat and onto the water in Lake Tahoe. Our first stop was Emerald Bay. Do you want to say something for the camera? Uh, so we just got out. It's south of Lake Tahoe. We're just getting our bearings. Apparently, it takes several hours to get to the other side of the lake, so I don't know if we're going to go across the lake, but just driving around, cruising right back to the dips in. We're in awe. There's the island with a little tea house on it. They call it a tea house, I guess, because some woman set it up to do tea, but it looks more like a castle. It looks like a whale in the water with my big white belly sticking out. It looks like an otter. I'm going to crack some oysters in my belly. <laughs> That was bad that time, right? It's still freezing. Put the ladder down. No, swim in for a bit. You'll feel awesome. Swim around. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, you big wuss. Oh my God. It's so cold. <laughs> the actual water temperatures when we were there were in the mid 60s, so we're being a little bit over the map. <laughs> Emerald Bay State Park has the only island on Lake Tahoe. The small island of Finette was owned by Captain Dick Barter. He was lost at sea in a storm on Robocom Point in the late 19th century, and it's just a little north of where we are right now. The tea house that's on the island was actually built much later by a Mrs. Laura Josephine Knight, who also owns this 38-room mansion uh, in what's called the, the Vikings Home, which is on the west shore of the bay. This pretty little lady just enjoying a drink. The mansion itself is actually one of the biggest tourist attractions on Lake Tahoe. Get it to go. And Mrs. Knight was famously one of the backers of the Charles Lindbergh solo flight across the Atlantic. You can see the whole bay from Eagle Falls hike, which we went on earlier. You can see the tea house, the bay, the whole lake. It's just, it's, it's amazing. Next, we went up to Robocon Point, which if you recall was where the captain had been lost in a storm. All these cliffs you see here that are leading up to Rukon Point are part of what's called DL Bliss State Park, which is a well-maintained popular campsite. It's got great trails, scenic views. It looks pretty amazing from both the water and the land. They got a rope swing right there, so you can rope swing out. I'm not doing that, but... So, like, I got to the, the big cliff. I got there, and there's a, a ladder but then the ladder is broken and there's just ropes to pull yourself up and it's like a face, like it's a cliff face. But I got up that way and I looked down and it looks like the water is so clear, it looks like there's rocks. It looks like I was going to jump into rocks, but there's definitely no way down except jumping up the rock. That's it. That's the it jumps fine. I'm, just, uh, I'm looking down at the rocks thinking I, I, I'm going to hit the rocks. So I'm jumping out as far as I can, so that's the only thing I'm concentrating on. But, uh, I, I fell in the water, and then as I go in the water, I didn't try to stop falling in the water. 
I figure I'm going to hit a rock at some point. They're going to hurt me. Fucking slow. And I went down and down and down, and there's fucking rocks. It's deep. It's deep as shit. It's just the water is so clear you can see the rocks. You don't have to think about how cold the water is when you hit it. <laughs> what do you think about? I just think about, oh my god, I'm falling! Along the shore, it's 70 plus miles around, so it would take a couple of hours to drive around by car. By boat, it's probably about two plus hours just to drive from south to north. So it would have taken up most of the day if we drove up and back. The next day's excursion was on a gondola up the Heavenly Mountain Resort. And when we got up there, our goal was to ride the roller coaster, which we had heard had all of these beautiful views and went all over the top of the mountain. A view? Don't you want to see where we're going? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. The floor's afraid of heights. Yeah. There's 12 plus ski resorts around the lake and Heavenly Mountain is presumably one of the largest. It's got 48 acres of skiable land. This is the same resort where Sonny Bono had infamously been killed uh, in a skiing accident on these slopes. The lake is the largest alpine lake in North America. It's about 122,000 acres altogether, and it gets to about over 500 meters deep. It's the second deepest behind Crater Lake, which is in Oregon. It's the 16th deepest in the world. The lake straddles both Nevada and California, two thirds in California. Last stop was gonna be the roller coaster at the top of the mountain, which we were, we were pretty excited for this. The view, the air, the just everything. I mean, the whole thing was unbelievable. We had the best time. I'm not quite sure how high we got up there, but the peak is supposed to be about 10,000 feet above sea level. That was the end of our Lake Tahoe trip, but there was still so much more that we could have done. We're definitely coming back. I hope you enjoyed the highlights on Fox Sellers, and you can see more of my adventures by subscribing down below. Thanks for watching. What is that about?